The Chinese Spring Festival holiday is one of the busiest periods for the country's biggest online retailers. Not only do millions of people travel during the season, the number of packages being delivered also skyrockets. While e-commerce giants appreciate the surge in orders, their profit margins haven't kept up. CCTV's Hu Xiaosen reports. With Spring Festival around the corner, more and more people are shopping online for New Year items. But orders are coming so quickly that some Taobao vendors have warned customers that, to avoid delivery delays for the Spring Festival, many people who would normally shop online are actually going offline for their urgent needs. I've already noticed the delays and won't be buying anything online if I need it immediately. If the delivery service is slow, that will impact my shopping. I'll go out to a store to do my shopping. Though delivery firms are required to provide all-year-round shipping services, the couriers are mostly migrant workers who work in big cities but go back to their hometowns for the Chinese New Year. Many will stay at home for at least 15 days or a whole month in accord with traditional practice. One courier from the leading delivery firm SF Express told us that even with the offer of higher pay, only one-fifth of the workers at his delivery station will stay on the job. This creates a problem for online vendors who do not have their own delivery service, such as Taobao. Competitors such as Jingdong.com or YHD.com, who do have their own delivery services, are looking for a boost of business during the Chinese New Year traditional shopping season. We prepared all the distribution staff we will need one or two weeks ago. We will be able to deliver goods to customers during Spring Festival within three hours in the downtown areas of Shanghai and Beijing via our special delivery service as long as they order before 4 p.m. But maintaining these delivery services is neither easy or cheap. Jingdong.com, for example, spent 2.2 billion yuan on its delivery service during the third quarter of last year, according to the company's financial reports. Liu Jianling, who has been studying the logistics sector for eight years, told us that running their own logistics systems involves high costs for e-commerce business. Warehousing, sub-packaging and distribution costs amount for 95 percent of total cost. Integrity of delivered goods determine the online shopping experience, and outsourcing deliveries make it difficult to guarantee that. So the e-commerce giants have established their own delivery services to make sure goods arrive intact, correctly, and are paid for promptly. The number of China's online shoppers reached 310 million last year. E-commerce consulting firm iResearch says that represents a 49 percent rise in transaction volume to 2013. That's a lot of deliveries. Hu Xiaochen, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.